Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here and welcome to the 4K for 10K or should I say the 4K for under 10K camera series. This is something I'm really excited about. I've been talking to Able Cine about doing this with them for a long time. In fact, we are here in their flagship Brooklyn space. And what we're gonna do is take a look at six different camera systems that are really well suited for owner operators and also small to no crew production. But in order to do that, we had to create a base criteria in terms of what cameras would be candidates for the series, so here's what we decided. So the first criteria, of course, is that the cameras could all shoot 4K, but more specifically, that they could record at least UHD 4K internally to the camera. The second criteria is that the camera would cost $10,000 US or less, and that that would be a shootable camera sans media. So it would include a battery and a monitor and or an EVF. The third criteria was sensor size. It had to have at least a super 35 millimeter sensor. The fourth criteria was that they had single system sound. This was critical because when we're talking about small to no crew production, we're talking about fast production, we're talking about corporate and documentary work, it's really important to be able to have those XLR inputs as part of the camera system. Then built-in NDs as another criteria, so all of the cameras had to have a built-in ND system. And lastly, all of the cameras had to have at least the ability to record log or a log gamma internally to the camera and also some option for a wide gamut capture. So with that criteria, where did that leave us? Well, it left us, as I said, with six camera systems and they are as follows. We have the Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini Pro 4.6K. We have the Panasonic AU EVA-1. We have two camera systems from Sony. We have the FS5 II and the FS7 II, and two camera systems as well from Canon. We have the Canon Cinema EOS C200 and the Canon Cinema EOS C300 Mark II. So once we had chosen our camera systems, we then had to decide what was gonna be included in the series. So we decided that we were gonna create one individual video for each of the six cameras. And within each of those videos, we're gonna talk about their core and also the unique features that each of the cameras have. But I do wanna stress that this is not a comparison camera series. They are not video reviews and that they are not user manuals on how to use these cameras in depth. The whole purpose is to focus on where these fit within small to no crew production for owner operators who may be purchasing one or more of these cameras or integrating them into their productions. Now, a camera series would not be complete without some test footage. So we created a list of shooting scenarios that would be typical with cameras like this. And we have decided to go out there into the real world and shoot some of that stuff, which is our favorite thing to do here it's to get geeky with cameras. So we decided that we were gonna to record to each of these cameras internally at their highest resolution and at the best formats and codecs that they could record to internally. And that was important for us, even though some of these cameras are capable, for instance, of recording raw out, we really wanted to focus on that small to no crew. So what is the best that we can get out of these cameras internally? So with all that said, it's now time to go out and shoot that test footage so we can have that for each of the individual videos in the camera series. So I'm gonna go and get all the guys from Able and we're gonna pack up all of these cameras along with a set of prime lenses, which will be our baseline so that we're using the same lenses on all the camera systems. I'm really excited about this series. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. <laughs> 